For years, I've suggested that presenters reconnect with key moments in their stories so that the audience feels like they're experiencing it with them. Now, my intent here has been to help speakers recreate emotions. Recently, okay, this afternoon, I heard a different perspective that makes this suggestion even more clear. It's an insight from director, actor, and acting coach, Jason Cannon. He says, storytelling isn't about telling what you experienced. It's about recreating how you experienced it. Now, this perfectly sums up the difference between delivering a presentation and creating an experience for your audience. If I tell you the facts of my story, that's reporting. For example, the night I discovered the power of storytelling was like any other financial presentation I had given. It's the fall of 2007, the early weeks of the Great Recession. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm presenting a retirement planning workshop to 49 professional women. Five minutes into my presentation, I'm interrupted by an attendee, and I'm asked if I'm there to sell them something. I'm so flustered, I don't immediately answer the question. This increases the tension in the room. That is an example of reporting the facts. Did this help you create a mental picture or movie of my experience? Did you have an emotional reaction to that scene? If you just said yes to those questions, you're just being nice to me. That was not an emotional rendering of my experience. Now, compare that version to this one. It's the fall of 2007. It's the early weeks of the Great Recession. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm presenting a retirement planning workshop to 49 professional women. Five minutes into my presentation, I see a hand go up in the back of the room. Yes, Leslie, how can I help you? Michael, what's your deal? Excuse me? What's my deal? I don't understand. I mean, what's your deal? I attend a lot of these presentations, and you all sound the same. You show us a bunch of slides we can't read. You tell us how great your company is, and then you try to sell us something. Why don't you cut to the chase? Just tell us what you're here to sell us. I look around the room, and 49 women who one minute earlier were enjoying their after-dinner coffee and cake are now sitting there like this, like they're thinking, yeah, what's your deal? Think about a time when your brain went completely empty. I mean, there's nothing going on in there. I mean, you can hear air bouncing around inside your skull. It's that empty. That's where I was. That is recreating an experience. Now, did that version help you create a mental movie of my experience? Did you have an emotional reaction to that scene? Now, if you just said yes to that question, then you're not just being nice to me. It was designed to help you experience the same feelings I had when I was challenged by Leslie and I saw the reaction of those women in that room. The facts are still the same, but by using dialogue and their reactions, I re-experience that and you get to share it with me. That is the power of what Jason meant when he said sharing the how is more powerful than telling the what of an experience. Thank you so much, Jason, for providing that inspiration, that new insight. It is a game-changing delivery method. Use this approach for your next story. It will feel awkward at first, but with repetition, you'll get more comfortable. You'll recreate those key moments that bring your audience into your world and enable them to walk out of your presentations having enjoyed a shared experience with you. If you need insights into how to make your stories more of an experience, feel free to schedule time to talk with me in the link below this video.